Hello everyone, Monkey Wrench Mike, we're back with another video at my good friend's place. Yep, this is Copart in Tulsa, Oklahoma on a very warm day. It is 90 degrees out here already and I'm walking around. I do have my water and it's just these cool cars that are keeping me going. The body says stop, but the mind says move forward and find some more videos that the people would like to see. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are searching for cool cars and trucks to show you what you can park in your driveway. And I think it's another Mercedes. Are you tired of Mercedes or should we look for something different? I don't know. Here's a Volvo that's nice. We got a nice Chevrolet. I don't know what's coming up next, but let's choose something and we're going to jump right in. Under a beautiful sky, we're going with the Volvo. Yeah, 2016 Volvo. XC60, so it's kind of like the miniature XC90. It's smaller, it is shorter, and this one needs a bumper and a grill, and I believe, I hope, that's all. Well, whatever this was attached to, you'll need a new one of those. Maybe the temperature, the outdoor temperature, and I can't open the hood because this is like this, and I, and I can't do that. <coughs> when things are sealed, I can't open them. What drew me to the car is this right here. Look at this. It's like a, it's coated with something on the side windows. How long has it been since this car was washed? Or is this like a coating they put on when they paint? I don't know what this is. It's a definite coating of something. I don't know. The paint looks fine. I mean, there's a couple of scratches back here. This got busted up. Um, some superficial scratches right there nothing major and then you get this stuff again it's everywhere on the outside except for the windshield i don't know what that is do it yourself window tint i really don't know all right this headlight's okay tires have a little bit of tread left on them overall i would say forget about the bumper it's in good condition okay inside you get your vinyl and cloth seats, which are nice. This is hot. Oh man, this is all black. The, uh, that sun is just coming through. It really is. That is so hot in there. Whoa. I don't even know if we can give her a start. I love how they kind of copied this from the XC90. Yep. But let's just kind of jump in real quick. I like how you have this. It's kind of thin right here, and you can put stuff behind it. This has every button you could ever want. Look at all those buttons right there. Um, well, what we're missing seems to be a key, which should go right there. But we don't. Well, this is going to be a short video because it's missing a key. I didn't even consider that. I saw this kind of looks cool. This looks really cool. It had the nice screen integrated into the dash and there's no key. So without further ado, we're just gonna keep going because you can't, you, there's no, there's no, no, you can't do it. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd and you can't start a car when you got no key. Remember that song? You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. For some reason that popped in my head. Yeah, you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. Uh, you, you can't take a shower in a parakeet cage. Was that another line from that song? You can't take a shower in a parakeet cage. I don't know. Funny, funny song. But you can be happy if you mind too. Well, we're going to move on because it's hot in here and we're not going to get it started. She is completely out of my price range, but she is beautiful and it's listed as white. I don't know. 2023 Lincoln, as you can tell by the grill right there, Aviator. Yep, so this is the smaller version of the Navigator. This is the Aviator and I love this. I really like how they did that and they kind of carry it back through the door stylistically. Yeah, look how the wheels look. They're moving while they're still standing still. Yeah, that's nice. This is a beautiful car. She seems to have a bit of a, she's kind of hunkered down in the back a little bit. And here, well, okay, so there's some damage. She backed into something, but it's not like 
major. What's going on under there? Okay, well, that muffler hit something. See that? This one seems to be okay. So, I guess that was enough to write it off. She's, she's definitely hunkered down a little bit. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm trying to jerk the door handle where it's not supposed to be jerked. There's a button you push, and I'll show that here in a minute, but look how nice this is. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful, and it smells, of course, <sighs> brand new. It really does. This, oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, so this, the door handle doesn't actually come out like you would think. There's a button right here that you push, and then it kind of pops the door for you. And look at this. She's a... I was going to say she's dirty. Someone with dirty hands got in here. Mine are clean-ish. Clean-ish, but look at this. It, it looks bigger on the inside than you would think from the outside. Okay, here we go. It says, please turn ignition off or start engine. I want to start. So here we go. Oh, oh, clouds. We have clouds. The vehicle is on. Driver door ajar. Hood ajar, 29 miles left. Oh, this is nice. Oh my goodness. Here's your cup holders. Nice touch. Drive mode. Here we're listening to another night. Oh, a little disco going on. Okay, that's okay, we'll turn it down. We do want maximum cooling. I do not want my seats heated. I do want my temperature, I want it to be cold in here. Let's do this. Passenger low, driver low, turn it on. It's all seem to be going to the window right here. Look at how you change, oh my gosh, this is nice. Max AC, here it comes. Thank you, baby, Jesus, thank you so much. Yes. Give that a second to cool down. Look how little the steering wheel is. I love the colors. I like this, I love this. How you can push this to go park, reverse, neutral, drive. Whoa, this is a place to be, look at that. Look at that. Let's do somebody a favor and see if we can close this. Vent shade. Okay, shade. Here we go. Yeah, we'll keep this interior looking good. Oh, that's nice. Holy moly. It says the hood is ajar. Dismiss alert. Fuel stations. Nearest fuel station. Audio down. Let's go nearest fuel station. Oh, there we go. All the gas stations. There's a quick trip. There's a smooth trip. Super stop. Oh, that's nice. Okay, then we'll kind of come down here. It's going to give me directions. There it is. She's telling me how to get my gas on. Oh, my. Mike needs to get a job again so he can afford a Lincoln Aviator. I love this. Oh, this is nice. All right, so you've seen the inside. Let's take a look at the engine very, very quickly. This is a nice, nice. Wait, how do you open this? Oh, you push this button and it opens the door. So there's no handle. You don't have to fuss with the handle. You push the button. Of course, this is going to work. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go look at the engine. And we're opening the hood, and there it is. It's brand new 2,800 miles. That's all, 2,800 miles on this car. Of course, that's gonna run perfect. Look at the yellow antifreeze right there. Ha, ah! okay. This is beautiful. I really like this, I really, really do. There we go, and look at the back. Look how nice that is. And of course, 
you push a button and the seats go down. Thank you. Now you have all kinds of storage room. You know, you could travel across the country in this thing and be comfortable. You really, really could. It doesn't have a trailer hitch. So it's useless to me. No, I'm talking myself out of it. Yeah, come back up. Ah, that was fun. All right, well, close. Thank you. It is a beautiful Lincoln Aviator, but it's not what I need right now, so we're gonna keep on looking. But I really like this. It is a beautiful, beautiful SUV. Since we've become bougie, let's check out a 2016 Land Rover Discovery Sport. Perfect color white. I love Land Rovers in white. Uh, damage, minor dents and scratches. Why would you send this here? I don't know. It's a good looking car. It's smaller. When you get up to it, it looks, it looks smaller. You back away and it looks like a much bigger vehicle. But this looks to be in really good condition. Michelin Defender tire there. Michelin Defender there. So you have matching tires. Let's check out the room on the inside. Oh, okay. They had a dog. You know that's true. Okay. This is kind of a vinyl over cloth with little things in it, which is kind of nice. There is no sunroof or anything. That's kind of surprising. Let's jump in here and just kind of see what's going on. A little wear right here from your elbow riding right there. And it's, it's dirty. They like Cheetos. Okay. Um, let's see what's going to happen here. All right, let's kind of see. We're just going to push our button. And we're going to push our button and push our button. She's dead. Doggone it. Well, I can't start her. Um, I just, I can't give her juice. So my thing is out as well, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it's a good looking, okay-ish car. It's, it just doesn't have what I thought a Land Rover would have. You know what I'm talking about? It just seems to be kind of cheap-ish on the interior. And there's no sunroof at all. I mean, it's nice, but it's not. And I like how they did this. This is kind of keeping that from the older Land Rover. But it's just, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? It's all, it's all black and chrome and vinyl. It's vinyl and cloth. I really don't. Um, oil was changed three of 23 at 101,000 miles. So it has 100,000 miles. And someone just got tired of it. So they sent it here. They wanted something fancier. So they sent it here. And now I understand why. It's kind of a letdown. I hate to end the video like that, but it is. It's, this, it's, it's a Land Rover Discovery. It's supposed to be like, ooh, you know, really beautiful and everything. But it's, it's kind of just a typical SUV and, and the seats aren't I mean they're kind of comfortable but not especially comfortable it looks like they put it together with parts from other cars and if you have one of these I'm sorry I'm, I'm really sorry if you have one of these it's a beautiful car and I'm I hope you're happy with it it's just not it's not what I'm expecting okay let's just say that right there it's just it's not so with that we're gonna end the video because it's getting hot and Mike needs a drink I've, I've had all of my Coca-Cola that I brought and I need a Gatorade or a G zero or something because it is getting to be very, very warm out here. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much for helping me get to the big 4-0. Yeah, I just turned 40 and I just got 40,000 subscribers. One of those statements is not true. <laughs> you know which one it is. Folks, have a great day. I got some sweat on my eye uh, 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 uh. yeah it's on my eyebrows running down my nose I've got my hands dirty so we're gonna say thank you for watching we'll see you again in another video very very soon and I may have purchased one or maybe two other vehicles could I do that I don't know you got to stay tuned and find out